Hello ladies and gents of the crafting world. Bon here coming to you tonight from my little den of scrappiness, a place I call Tootie Beeble Bug Creations. I was tagged by not one, not two, but three crafters um, to do the my faves and must-haves of 2012. Um, I had been um, battling the cold flu thing, so I'm sorry that I had been away, and I'm sorry that this may be um, coming through a little later than planned, but um, better late than never, right? So uh, let me try to get through it the best that I can. Um, you'll probably see that I have things here on my table um, that I wouldn't generally have, but they're here because um, I wanted to be able to show, not just share. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna first share um, my most favorite favorite, and that my friends is wow. Okay, <laughs> kind of close. Is my iPad okay? Um, that's number one on my list, uh, simply because uh, with my iPad I am able to um, watch my wonderful YouTube videos every um, night with my little headphones. Um, and that's how I keep in touch with all of you. And um, so I love my iPad. I also can make a video on my iPad and um, I can make notes on my iPad. So my iPad's number one on my list. Uh, new, number two on my list of uh, faves and must-haves for 2012 is going to be my Tim Holtz, um, my Tim Holtz uh, vintage photo ink, and my little inking tool. Um, for me, they're a must-have. I like the aged uh, grunge, whatever you want to call it. I like that look. So, um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink, Vintage Photo, and the Little Inker. Love, love, love. Uh, next on my list is my adhesives. I generally use a lot of adhesives depending on what I'm doing. So, um, first, uh, my Scotch, whoops, upside down because that's the way I keep it, my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. Um, I also have my trusty Tombow um, as I had expressed to Miss Sad 64, hi Sloan, um, the um, ATG gun that y'all love to use is just uh, quite a bit too big for my hands. So um, I use my trusty Tombow. I also uh, love to use um, my glossy accents and my Mod Podge depending on what I'm doing. I have um, a lot of different types of adhesives and glues. I also have here in my trusty little drawer the red line tapes for um, doing albums. Um, next on my list is, of course, um, let me move this without trying to make y'all too dizzy. Next on my list would be my Prismacolor watercolored pencils, my gam saw, my little blending tool, and of course my um, sandpaper for cleaning off my tool. <coughs> Please excuse me, I still can't seem to get rid of the cough. I'm so very sorry. I'm sure you are not watching the video to listen to Bon cough her head off. So next on my list is, of course, my Prismacolors, my Gamsol, and the little tools that I use to create um, my cute stamped images and such. I don't have any here right now because I think that everything that I pretty much have done has, have done has gotten sent to someone. So let me move those out of the way and go on with my list. Um, and my iPad went dark. Uh, next on my list is, um, these are like my staples, okay? Let me just be honest here. Without these, without these tools, I just um, probably couldn't function. And that is my little tweezers. They are made by uh, Tweezer B, the Cutter B Company, the same uh, company that makes um, these cute little black and yellow scissors. 
which I have tons of, but okay, the tweezers for my little intricate work. I also cannot do a seam without my bone folder. My trusty ruler. I'm sure that I'm sure that the funny part of this is that this isn't an expensive ruler. I do have Tim Holtz's ruler and I have some of the other rulers, but that's the one that I always seem to go to and find. I also cannot create a project without my paper piercer, which I seem to have with me all the time, and I believe uh, this particular one is for making memories. It's my favorite one. I don't like using any of the others, so I have to have that. Um, also, again, my Statler pencil. We always need our pencils when we're, um, you know, marking out our lines and getting dimensions and such. And my pink pearl eraser. I swear by these little staples simply because I can't, I cannot create a darn thing without these, these tools right here. I can't create a thing without them. So let me move those out of the way, and then I will come on to my next, which would probably be another staple, something that I must have, and that is my Fiskars trimmer. I have a small one. I also have a very large uh, bluish-purple type guillotine um, Fisker trimmer. Um, that's next. That is um, my next most used, most used item in my scrap room. Um, going along the, the lines of cutting and trimming and all of that, I'll just go right into my um, scissors. I have the pink Color B by EK Success, and I have the black and white Cutter Bs. I have my Timmy scissors, and I also have my great, big, beautiful Cutter Bs. I couldn't do anything without them. Absolutely love them. So, my friends, I have my fair share of scissors, don't I? So those are my cutting tools. Um, can't live without them. Love them. Um, really appreciate um, all the use I've been able to get out of them. They're still in very good shape. Still do a wonderful job for me. So... Um, those are my scissors. Okay, next on my list um, is going to be my, come on over here with me, my beautiful blue Cricut Expression. Um, I use it quite a lot, love it, uh, can't be without it. Um, it's quite a beautiful little tool. I love my blues and I love my Cricut. I have, I wouldn't say I have tons of cartridges, but I have my fair share of cartridges, and I love using my, I absolutely love using my Cricut. Um, next on my list is um, something that maybe not too many people, if anyone has mentioned, but I'm going to mention it simply because um, it's something else I pretty much can't live without, and that is my, my Dino. Letra Tag Labeler. Um, I use it for um, labeling. <laughs> I know that sounds simple and easy, but that's what I use it for, and it seems to come in handy for quite a lot of things. I know that I made some bookmarks, and I used it to label the title Got Books. Um, I use it for a lot of things. I love it. Um, so that's one of my um, faves or must-haves for 2012. I also have come upon this wonderful new obsession of um, stick pins. So I have, as I've said many times, lots of stick pins, corsage pins, sorry for the glare. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stick pins. Um, I'm, de I'm definitely in stick pin heaven. So um, once again, these are some of the stick pins I have. And to go along with my wonderful stick pin obsession, so that's been that's definitely a, a big one on my um, must haves and faves of 2012. Uh, my my next um, on the list is going to be my beautiful uh, mulberry paper flowers. Um, sorry for the glare. I'm going to just try to get them in there. 
I uh, purchased these from my friend Misty. She's with um, Sh she's Shabby Beautiful Scrapbooking here on YouTube. Um, she buys these and um, sells them in her Zibit shop. These are the pinks and some of the some of the brown tones and just uh, pretty um, lighter tones. And then I also have some of the um, creams. There's 70 flowers in all, and as I said, you can probably find them, not probably, y'all can find them in Misty's uh, Zibit shop. It's uh, Shabby Beautiful Scrapbooking. Um, look for her. She has a wonderful YouTube channel. She's a wonderful gal, and um, I am just going to go ahead and let everyone know that. I love the flowers. Love you, Misty. Uh, thanks, girl, for everything that you've done for me this year. Um, next on my list, let's see if I can, um, if I haven't forgotten, let's see what I've forgotten. Okay, next, to go along with the stick pins is all of my, all of my tools that, you know, tools, like my husband says, paper is important, but tools are even more important. All of my pliers and tools, whoops, knocking over my glues and adhesives. Um, can't do without all these, can't do anything without all these wonderful tools, gals, for all of your creating, button cutting, snippers to cut off your, um, your, uh, your brads and your buttons and your stick pins, more tools. So, uh, I can't do without those tools. Um, um, also, this time around, I'm going to say a little bit about my glue gun. I know, doesn't look too great. It's been it's been through it. Um, it's um, Aline's ultimate glue gun. Um, to me, it's most definitely not the ultimate. I'll tell you that. I'm. Um, it's something that I have to have because you know we all have to use our glue, but it's not my favorite um, tool. Um, if anybody out there can recommend a uh, better glue gun, um, leave me a comment down below because I'd sure like to uh, own one that maybe uh, doesn't make so much of a mess and maybe is a little tinier. As I've mentioned, I have little tiny hands and this is a huge glue gun. So, But it does do the job and I do use uh, my glue gun quite a lot. So I had to go ahead and include it. Um, Let's see if there's anything else. Um, I also have, I'm not even certain that you can see everything in here if I, lay it, if I laid it all on the table, but let me go ahead and share. This is just my basket of bling, pearls, rhinestones. Okay, I think you get the message. I have all kinds of... This is my basket of goodies. I have buttons and baubles and all of these um, things that we all use to make things pretty. So here is my basket of goodness for um, adding the finishing touches to everything. So my pearls and my... Okay, you all get the message. <laughs> I may have to move to a bigger basket, right? Okay. And I guess um, last on my um, list, if I have gone, haven't gone over 20, that's pretty much what I have here on my list. Except for, of course, my Martha Stewart score pad, scoreboard, and um, my stickles and uh, liquid pearls. All of us gals have to have our stickles and our liquid pearls. Uh, they're a must-have. Uh, but other than that, and I think really my faves are already here in the bottle, in these bottles empty upside down, and that would be the diamond stickles and the platinum stickles. I use my platinum stickles at Christmas time, pretty much use it a lot. I just love the color of platinum. It's not silver, it's not gold, it's just platinum. I love it. Anyway, those two are basically empty, so they're up there for good measure to help remind me that I need them. But anyway, um, so... Let's see. I think that's all other than um, my number one must-have and fave for 2012 is all of y'all. I love YouTube. I uh, love the camaraderie and the graciousness of everyone here. I don't know what I would have done without you ladies. Um, I spent a lot of time alone in my home, many hours at a time, 
and um, children are all grown and gone. My husband works a lot, and I am just um, here battling this um, life, and uh, I don't know what I'd do without y'all. So I think um, my number one YouTube must-have in favor of 2012 is all of y'all. So um, I'm probably going to have to check to see if I didn't go over in time, but if if I did, I'll have to record this again. If not, these are my favorites for 2012. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank um, Proud Mommy 702. Hi, Shireen. Thank you, darling, for tagging me. I want to I want to thank Miss Sad 64. Hey, Sloan, darling. Wanted to thank her for tagging me, and I also wanted to thank Velocity Vet. Hey, Jane, I love you, girl. I love everything you do. Um, you have become my number one favorite person to watch on YouTube. I hope we can do a lot of mixed media together this year. And just all of you, you have no idea. I say everyone's my favorite, basically, because y'all are. But, um, so let me go. It's saying I have six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Love y'all. Toodles.